All righty. Today's video is really exciting. It is the end of an era, I guess. Like, not really, because I'm still going to do drone updates on a few weekdays. Um, but it is the end of not being inside the park. And that means things are going to heat up a lot. And trust me, when they're done, Moosehorn Falls things are going to get real heated. Now, at the end of this video, I have Wonderland's teaser. Um, I will release a video later tonight that dives deep into it because it does kind of hint at a lot of um, what's going on with the ride. That's what I'll leave at right now. But I'm going to do a deep dive video on the theming um, and the teaser. But I just want to take a moment to say, honestly, thank you so much. Um, I've been a little distant on Instagram in terms of responding to DMs and responding to comments. A lot of you don't know this, but I work a full-time career job outside of this channel. Um, and to be honest, it has been getting really hectic running a full-time YouTube channel and a full-time career. Um, so I am trying to find the perfect balance, but a lot of you have been sending really nice DMs and there's been a lot of really nice comments. And I've noticed that the viewership numbers are up. And I just wanted to say, like, honestly, and I know everyone says this, every YouTuber says this, but I truthfully mean it. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the content um, and just leaving such nice comments. It actually means a lot as someone that struggles with anxiety in a severe way where I constantly doubt myself um, and my capabilities and just think negatively about a lot of situations. You guys are doing a lot more positive for me than you realize. So I wanted to take some time to properly say thank you so much for that because um, it does mean a lot and you are helping me like truthfully um, anyways uh, to get into the video I'm gonna cry um, but to get into the video oh wow um, a lot's going on at the park um, so in Elpin area uh, they're getting ready for park opening obviously as you see some footings were fixed they are leveled out completely I'm holding back tears right now so give me a second to collect myself uh, they leveled it out and put bricks back on top, but they've left some of the footings and are not bothering fixing them. Um, so you're going to see them in this video completely set up fencing in the Elpin area. Um, so that's really cool. In this whole video, you're going to see it's a really awkward setup, but oh well. Um, the, the, this team setting up the fence, by the way, this was about a 5 to 10 minute flight in terms of them setting up the fence. It went from zero fences to completely set up. I have never seen a project get conquered that quickly in my life. This team came in and they said, you know what? We, we ain't got time to mess around. We are just going to set this up and get it over with. So that was really impressive to watch. Over at the Wonder Mountains Guardian area, it is all done. The fence is even painted back to normal. Um, so I guess just a little bit of wrapping up to do. I wanted to commend Wonderland. I said this in a lot of videos and you, can you guys can back me up in this. No matter how far behind Wonderland looks a day or two before opening or a day or two before something, they'll get it done. And on that topic, Timber Kits. Timber Kits came into the park and said, you know what? You want a drink stand here, Wonderland? We'll do it in two, three days. They conquered this drink stand for the most part in about two to three day period. Meanwhile, the drink stand over in Elpen has taken over a month um, to build and renovate an already constructed building. So you got to give it to Timber Kits' team um, for accomplishing such a last minute project. Um, so quickly but yeah it's really exciting here they are setting up the fence as you can see the fence ravels in and around um, some of these German Elpen themed buildings and uh, yeah so it looks like you'll be able to walk uh, in front of grab and go which will be open this year and tiny toms and you'll also uh, be able to walk in front of all the tunnels the tunnels will obviously be blocked off um, nothing too exciting to see yet again we are waiting on um, the Quezon team over at uh, Moosehorn Falls to head on over and start building the footings for this ride. Um, and it's a big ride. And Wonderland ain't fretting away from using those terminologies. So stay tuned because Wonderland's getting really hyped about teasing this ride as well. Um, so I'm really excited. I think this is going to be Wonderland's best ride. Fingers crossed. Hopefully I'm not overhyping it, but who knows? You know what? I have a history of overhyping things. Um, well, some people think I overhype things, but a lot of people, you know, they're on the fence about whether I overhyped Yukon Striker. I personally love it. I think it's a great ride. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited that it's most likely 99% chance not going to be a B&M. Okay. So <laughs> kudos to that decision. And, uh, Yeah. I'm trying to think if there was anything else in this area. So you know about Tiny Toms, the fencing. I'm really curious how quickly they're, like, is that queue line blocked off for Shockwave? I don't know. But right now, if you look closely, you can't see it. Sorry, it was a really foggy day, so I couldn't get a better view of a lot of the area. I'm flying a lot lower than I typically do. 
Um, so I am missing out on some of, uh, you know, I can't show you everything because at this height, you can only see um, so far and so much. So yeah. Um, outside of that, they're just finishing up. They're blocking off that last footing right next to that little arcade building there, mini arcade building. Um, and blocking off those footings for a top hat right there as well. So, yeah, um, I'm really excited. What are you guys most excited about? Like, are you most excited to just get back on the rides? Are you most excited to follow along on this teasing campaign for the new coaster? Are you most excited for a funnel cake? What are you most looking forward to um, for the Wonderland season? That starts for some of us this weekend um, and then others May 3rd. So um, comment down below. But, yeah. I'm trying to think. Um, this is a really good sign, by the way, guys. So I want to explain that. So them not cleaning up the construction site is a great sign. It shows that construction will continue through the season. And again, I can confirm to you guys, the park has told me that construction will pick up in the season and it will be an ongoing thing. And that is why the park is starting teasing so early on this project, um, because it's going to be such a big area and a lot of construction throughout the park for this new coaster or new project, keywords project. So um, that is something that the park has said. So again, um, as soon as they're done Moosehorn, you'll see them fully start working on this coaster. Oh, wow. Ooh, what did that fence do to you? No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, over at Splashworks, not much going on. It's been a couple of rain days, so they haven't done anything. They just have a few small caissons left to go. Um, so again, they are almost done. They are almost done. The caissons in the ground, obviously they still have to attach the thread rod to the above ground section for some of them. Um, but the, the team that's in charge of drilling those caissons can move over to this new project probably within a week. Um, so that's really exciting. They're down to their last little small ones. Action Theater is getting d gutted on the inside. So some of the old haunt maze you see there in one, and then uh, a lot of the structure staircase and um, queue line area uh, for the other theater that hasn't been used other than storage was removed as well. So here is Moosehorn Falls, no activity today, um, but they are building. This is really good news too, guys. This is great news. Um, they are building about six inch wide um, or thick conduit um, electric station. Elec Sorry, I'm using the wrong wording here. And uh, basically an electric powerhouse uh, right near uh, Backlot Stunt Coaster. Um, and that says a lot in itself as well. So the park is upgrading its powerhouse um, in terms of right there. Uh, in uh, holding more power and storing more power and providing more power to its rides. So again, another great sign, as you can see them right there, um, working on a lot of the power in a very important part of the section of the park in terms of power is uh, Backlot Sun Coaster's powerhouse. So definitely key information there in terms of setting up uh, Moosehorn Falls, hard at work. They work weekends, rain, snow, um, thunderstorms. They work it all. Um, right there, they're building all the pieces. So again, when they're done the footings, it's going to be a very quick assembly process. Um, outside of that, here is the teaser. So um, we, uh, sorry for our appearance. Um, we are working on something big in um, Old English, um, which can be linked back to uh, Anglo-Saxon, uh, Old Germany. So again, I'll dive deep on what that has to say about our new coaster. But yeah, just wanted to go over that with you guys. Sorry, I can't get a better shot of the teaser um, as again, I'm flying pretty far away. So uh, with that being said, very exciting times. Teasers are going up and this is going to be a very important project to the park. So expect a lot more teasers to come. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.